Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCastSOS.com. A new report from the International Monetary Fund reveals just how lucrative killing our planet in the name of fossil fuels has become. Would you believe coal, oil, gas, and fracking are paid in government subsidies $5.6 trillion annually. $5.6 trillion. That's $5.6 million million, or 7% of the gross world product. The report found that, quote, with increased globalization, capital can pick up and move at will, including political office holders, to hand out subsidies, waive taxes, and refuse to enforce safety and environmental laws, end quote. Most of the costs of fossil fuels are hidden because environmental harm such as pollution and the climate crisis are kept outside of ordinary economic calculation. Energy companies externalize these, meaning they don't pay the public you, me, and our children do. Think about these facts. The oceans have increased acidity by 30% as the rate of burning fossil fuels escalates. So what's that mean? We're in the midst of the sixth great extinction. Corals are perishing right before our eyes. 50% of them are dead globally and maybe 80% in the Caribbean. Corals are crucial for feeding, mating, and nursing young. They're made up of calcium carbonate, which melts as the ocean becomes more acidic. Shellfish, like lobsters, crayfish, and krill are doomed. Mercury poisoning from burning coal has tripled in our oceans since the 1950s. It's a potent neurotoxin. If you eat sea life, you're eating mercury poisoning. We're also missing 40% of the ocean's phytoplankton due to warming of the seas from burning fossil fuels. That's the air we breathe. Mature forests on all forested continents are beginning to die from heat waves, droughts, and insect infestations. Paying fossil fuel companies $5.6 trillion annually to kill our planet is bloody wrong. Ice caps are disintegrating much quicker than climate models predicted. They're losing mass faster and faster with a doubling time of 10 years. At the Paris Climate Talks in December, it's crucial for policymakers to keep warming well below 2 degrees C. Otherwise, wild forests, the most perfect carbon dioxide warehouses, will stop working and sea levels will rise by a couple of meters or more than six feet by mid-century. The fossil fuel looting has been exposed. Now it's up to us to future-proof the planet for our children before it's too late. No time to spare, ladies and gentlemen. We are all required to roll up our sleeves and get stuck in to the solutions. Please support the okraproject.org because they're making Earthcast SOS possible. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.